While looking at scandal, the faith says it to be specific. I'll round up some of the points that they missed, some of the things that they didn't look into when making the season. And now coming in in number five, we have Cyrus Bean. I'm talking about Cyrus, I'm actually referring to the monster that he was, the beast that he was from season one, season two, season three, season four, all through the entire four seasons. He was that person that you would fear, that monster. He was so ruthless that if you were to come face to face with him, you would actually <laughs> get scared. Now, the entire season five, he's gone from someone, one person who was mostly that I was afraid of, to someone who's underground, who's so low. I mean, his low side is actually very boring, just to be clear. Now, I, 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 I can't get used to this side of him. It's, it's depressing, totally depressing. I can't, sorry. And now, coming in in number four, we have Hark. Hark killing people. Hark being the murderer. I miss that part, you know, I missed him drinking a beer or wine as he used to call it. This entire season 5, he hasn't even killed one person. Well, there was an episode where I kind of assumed that he was going to kill somebody else, but then he didn't. I mean, what's a scandal season without Huck getting his hands in blood? It's, it's, it's not a season, seriously, I mean, I'm not you. It's not, it's not. Getting used to these type of personalities, it's, it's, been, it's been a nightmare, seriously. And now, coming in, in number three, we have Hollis Doyle, aka Donald Trump. The reason why I'm saying aka Donald Trump is because in the season, he managed to get into politics. Well, he was already in politics, but decided to run for presidential campaign. And the character that Shonda um, gave us was someone who's like a Donald Trump light, you know, someone who resembles him every every aspect, everything, every trick that Donald has, Hollis Doyle had it too. I was actually looking very forward on his character, but then uh, I have no idea what happened. They just didn't give him enough time. We just didn't see more of him. That was that was a miss. It was it, it was a total miss, I'm not gonna lie to you. And then coming in in number two, well, thus coming in in number two, we have Olivia Pope as the fixer. I have no idea what happened to her. I don't know what happened to Olivia Pope that I used to take cases. The Olivia Pope that was the DC's most powerful woman, number one fixer in DC. The, the woman who was more powerful than the United States of America, more powerful than any woman in the entire world. I have no idea what happened to her. The season, the character is actually she's she's damaged okay i've done a video where i picked up some of the points where by well while i referenced some of the things that make me say that she is now damaged she's ruined the character this is the woman that we fell in love with but this entire season ish, i have no idea what happened to her seriously i i don't know i used to love her so much i used to look forward to her i used to aspire to become her i wanted to become her every single day but then this season ish no i can't i'm not looking for that anymore and then in number one claiming that number one spot has to be mama pope yes Maya Pope, Maya Lewis, whatever, Mary Mar Mar Lewis, whatever she calls herself. <sighs> what happened to her? She just went underground. Like after season four, we just never saw her again. I have no idea why Shonda didn't decide, didn't bring her in the season because she would have changed things for the better. You know, she would have. We, we, we know her. Mama Pope is like that character that you just cannot um, miss, you know. She has, she has developed the show from season five, four, from season three, and then in season four, she, in season three, she was, she was a badass. She was a badass. It would have been very nice to 
Sehen, das sehe ich. Yes, those were uh, some of the top five messages 